Hi, this is Dr. Jeff Grover, Chief Research Scientist at Grover Group Incorporated. Welcome to our session today on converting data into deciles and quintiles. We'll use Pandas Jupyter Notebook to go through this demonstration. Follow with me as I go through. So we'll begin with converting data into deciles and quintiles, and we'll find the Pandas version. And the Pandas version we're using is 0.19.2. Next is the Jupyter version. And the Jupyter version that we're using is 3.6.0. The reason why I give you these versions is so you can replicate our results on your machine using these versions of, of software. Sometimes if you don't have the correct version, then you don't get the correct response or you don't get a response at all. So we'll begin with our IPython code. We'll import our data. The data is a CSV file from the Fred series uh, database. So this is what the data looks like that uh, we're converting. It begins with January the 12th, 2017, S&P 500 returns, and then STLFSI data points. And this is the St. Louis Fed Federal Stress Index. So we'll go through and convert decals and quintiles. We'll invoke decals first. We'll invoke quintiles. And then we'll see what the results look like. So as we look at our headers, we have our date. We have S&P 500. Returns. STLFSI data. And then we have a conversion of S&P 500 into decals. And this first row is six, second row is five, and then we'll have the quintiles converted for the STLFSI data series, and we see here these, the first five are all zero. But what we'll do is we'll just look at the data as a whole and just follow along with that. So we see zeros and then we see see it goes to four. So that does have a range of zero to four. So that's basically how you convert data into decals and quintiles. So to conclude, we've imported the data and we've converted it to decals and quintiles. So to obtain this code, you may go to uh, patreon.com forward slash data sniffer. And if you become a Patreon, uh, then you'll have access to the data, the code, and then visit our website, baysniffer.com, for any further insights into uh, the track that we're heading in optimizing open data sources. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day. The Data Sniffer.